<laughs> I'm sure you all know what a dishonorable discharge is. <laughs> Don't need to go into that personal uh, story. So, are you ever walking down the street and like you see somebody and they just make you want to masturbate? I mean, like not not right then and there, but like as soon as you go home, like that's the first thing you're gonna do. And you're not necessarily even gonna think about like that person or that specific part of the person that made you want to masturbate in the first place. You're just going to. You know you're lonely when. <laughs> You know you're lonely when you think about um, buying like all different kinds of lube. Not for your lover that may or may not exist, but just because you want to spice up your sex life with yourself. <laughs> These are the things I think about. So, uh, like I said before... Ah! Uh, thanks. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so... You know what's funny? Girls can say this thing that I'm about to say, but guys can't. If guys say this thing that I'm about to say, oh man, argument city. And that thing is, why haven't you come yet? <laughs> Girls can say that. Guys can't. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, awesome. So uh, who wants to see me do stuff with balloon animals? Woo! That is awesome. All right. So uh, this first thing that I'm going to make, and probably the only thing I'm going to make, um, I really out of the whole outfit you're gonna mention the socks. I thought you would mention like the coat or something. Anyway, so uh, this thing I'm about to make is a hat. It's a special hat that I learned to make when uh, I was actually training in the Middle East um, to make balloon animals. I was on this international course where you go all over the country to learn to make different types of balloon animals in different societies. It's pretty sweet. And, um, awesome. Uh, and, all right, it's a sultan's hat. Oh, oh, after I do this, and my head's not big enough for this. Um, this hat that looks. All right, so uh, you like some magic? Yeah, we have some. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, magic. Who likes magic? Yeah. I'm gonna need a volunteer. Who wants to be a volunteer? Yeah, the outspoken guy. Let's get him on stage. Sweet. Yeah, no, oh, you're coming? Here? Thank you. All right, so, uh, what's your name, good sir? Kurt. Kurt, right? Yeah. Awesome. All right, Kurt, right here I have a stick of jewels. You see it, yes? And you see on both sides there are jewels on both sides. <laughs> so this side is jewels, this side is jewels. Yeah. I'm just lifting it up and down. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, just brief note, this jewel stick actually has been passed down from generation to generation in my family. So, um, would you do me a favor? First, uh, pick a number one through six. Now tell me. Three. Three, okay. Uh, one, two, three. The diamond. Awesome. Now, I'm going to need you to rub the back of my family jewel stick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he had the magic touch. <laughs> mm, there are jewels still on both sides, are there not? Jewels, you see them, yes? <laughs> Try two hands. <laughs> or two fingers. <laughs> All right, man. I think that did it. And magically, oh my gosh, there are diamonds on both sides. Whoa, Whoa did you pick diamonds? And your magic touch made diamonds appear, and now I'm just going to change them back to all jewels. Right. Awesome. Thank you, Kurt. Kurt hates his friends right now. You're getting a stern talking to after the show. No, you're fine, but you. 